Spring is one of my favorite times of the year, so even though I'm a little late, I still wanted to make a spring to be read list. All the sunlight has me feeling energized and really in the mood to read in my sunny corner in the apartment. Um, but on rainy days, I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild, which has these really cute creatures called Koroks, who are the inspiration for the reading journal spread that comes with this TBR. But I will just be talking about books, so no worries if you do not know the game or are not into gaming, this will be a regular TBR video. Um, please let me know in the comments below what you plan to read this spring, I would love to hear from you. And so without further ado, let's get into the books. As always, a mix of books that I have on my shelf, which I always try to prioritize, and then also some more that are on my wish list. I'll break this down into genres, starting with young adult, which I noticed was the genre that I was gra gravitating to the most for this spring. Um, so here are some young adult, new adult, and kind of coming of age stories that I really want to read. On the top of that list is Felix Ever After, which has been on my bookshelf for too long, but I'm very committed to read it this time around. The, the end of the blurb uh, for this book reads, Felix Ever After is an honest and layered story about identity, falling in love, and recognizing the love you deserve which sounds very promising to me. It sounds exactly like what I want to read. And also this cover just screams spring. Uh, I also have on here two of Alice Oseman's books, Radio Silence and Loveless, which similarly deal with identity. And they are just two books that have been on my TBR ever since I read Heartstopper. Um, so I really want to get to it. Another YA book on here is the Japanese coming-of-age classic, How Do You Live, which will be turned into a Studio Ghibli movie soon, so I want to read it before it comes out this summer, so it's definitely up there. I think this one is maybe a little less known, so I will just read the blurb. The streets of Tokyo swarm below 15-year-old Copper as he gazes out into the city of his childhood. Struck by the thought of the infinite people whose lives play out alongside his own, he begins to wonder, how do you live? Considering life's biggest questions for the first time, Copper turns to his dear uncle for heartwarming wisdom. As the old man guides the boy on a journey of philosophical discovery, a timeless tale unfolds offering a poignant reflection on what it means to be human. I also have one YA novel on my wish list, um, which is As Long As The Lemon Trees Grow, which I learned about recently. It follows a pharmacy student who started volunteering at the hospital uh, when the revolution in Syria started, and she is torn between wanting to help the people in her home country in Syria and also wanting her and her family to be safe. And from what I heard, this book portrays a lot of strong feelings towards this reader. It will make you cry and laugh, but will leave you with an overwhelming sense of hope. And so when I heard of this book, I immediately wanted to read it. So I thought I would share. Still kind of in the category of coming of age is the poetry collection Helium by Rudy Francisco. I'm not actually sure if this has anything to do with coming of age or if that is just my idea of it, but I have put it on my TBR nonetheless. It's the only poetry collection on here for now. It's been on my shelf for quite a while and well, the cover definitely screams spring to me. I also put only one romance novel on here because I feel like I'll want to read more of that in summer. So I only picked out book lovers. I am incredibly late to the Emily Henry party, but the longer I wait, the worse it'll get. So I just picked up book lovers the other day and then I hope to read it soon. Aside from How Do You Live earlier, I actually have two more Japanese novels on here. The first one is The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro, which I picked up from a secondhand bookstore ages ago without actually knowing anything about it. 
But the blurb reads, um, The Romans have long since departed and Britain is steadily declining into ruin. The Burr Giant begins as a couple, Axel and Beatrice, set off across a troubled land of mist and rain in the hope of finding a son they have not seen for years. They expect to face many hazards, some strange and otherworldly, but they cannot yet foresee how their journey will reveal to them dark and forgotten corners of their love for one another. So this description is giving me adventure and love story and almost dreamlike feelings, so I'm quite excited to read this. It's not my highest priority book, but I feel like I will be in the mood um, to read this this spring. And the other one I have on here is Norwegian Wood, one of Murakami's well-known novels. Similarly, there is something about the vibe of the description that makes me think that this season will be the time to read this. Both uh, on my shelf as well as on my wish list, I actually have quite a few non-fiction books, which is surprising, but I think I'm finally getting back into non-fiction. Um, so please leave your recommendations below. I am very curious to read more in this genre. So on my shelf, I have Educated, the memoir by Tara Westover, and I also have Play It As It Lays by Joan Didion. I bought this last one very recently, so I will talk about that a bit more in my upcoming book haul video. The ones on my wish list actually haven't changed uh, since last time. It is still Storyworthy, Ace, and Half the Sky, which seem to be impossible to find anywhere. I would normally get them on Kindle if I really couldn't find them, but since they're nonfiction, I really want to annotate them, and so I'm patiently waiting to get my hands on a copy of these. Um, the one new edition is Everything I Know About Love, which I have heard everyone around me rage about lately, so it's inescapable. I'm going to find it and I'm going to read it. There are some other familiar names on my wish list. There's still Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Project Hail Mary. They are still standing strong on this list, even though I will talk about breaking my book buying ban. Uh, I did not manage to get a copy of these two yet, um, but you've heard me talk about these two before, so I'll just talk about my final book on this list, which is A Little Life. Now, I don't know how relatable this is, but when I make a to-do list, I usually try to put something on there that I know I will definitely be able to do, you know, for morale. And so for this TBR, that is A Little Life, because I actually just started reading it. So you will have my thoughts on that one in the next reading wrap up. I am approaching this book cautiously, which is one of the reasons why I waited so long to read it. Um, but so those are all the books I plan to read this spring. I hope you heard some interesting books you may want to add to your TBR, or maybe you have some recommendations for me. In any case, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.